Howdy everyone, it's Montana Airgunner here again and on this video we're gonna do an updated review of the Donny FL Ronin moderator in 30 cal, so stay tuned. Alrighty, so in this video we're gonna do an uh, updated review of the Donny F. Ronin moderator. On the previous uh, review that I did, I had a 22 caliber hats and flash for the testing, as you can see it on the back there. And uh, now we have the real deal here it's the 30 caliber FX Impact Mark III. And this is the reason why I got the Donny FL Ronin moderator in the beginning as a 30 cal to have it on this one because I know that it works very nicely with it. And uh, yeah, let's actually go and uh, check what we have here. So we got the FX Impact Mark III, I got the Sabre Tactical Arc Rail that kicks it a little bit further. And this is the Sniper Edition of the M3. Then we got the uh, adjust bar barrel tuner, adjustable barrel tuner, harmonic barrel tuner. And uh, then we got the Sabre Tactical Cheek Riser and the Crawford and Lit uh, adjustable buttstock or like butt pad, whatever you call it. And today we're shooting the uh, FX ammo and uh, yeah without further ado let's hop into the uh, testing okay so first we're gonna shoot the FX impact on moderated and uh, we're gonna do five shots to the same target and uh, see what kind of average readings we get and then get the accuracy also and after that we're gonna put on the Donny F. Roni moderator and uh, shoot five shots with that one too and check the accuracy. So today we're shooting the FXS 44.7 grain pellets on these tests and we're gonna just chuck a few ones in and uh, see what happens. So there you have it, five shots, unmoderated, so now let's put on the uh, Donny FL Ronin. Okay, so now I'm gonna shoot the five shots with the uh, Donny FL Ronin and uh, let's check the average speeds and those kind of things and what the decibels reading, decibel reading says. And the one thing that I have now changed is the uh, elevation on my scope. So I will be uh, aiming dead on and it will be hitting dead on compared to the other, other uh, reviews. And the elevation on this range when I have the moderator is about 2 mils uh, more. So that's one thing to keep in mind. So let's check a few ones in and see what happens. Thank you. 
So, there you have it. The Donny Ethel Ronin Moderator. So let's actually go and have a look on the on the range, what it says. Oh ho, yeah, we got the flag up now. And uh, go and have a look so I don't do any funny things. And now the difference between the other tests were that I adjusted my scope accordingly. So I just held on the dot and it was supposed to be hitting the dot. So yeah, I had the last shot checking the chronograph was about 10 feet per second faster. I don't know what that was for. But yeah, there we have it. We did a couple of ciders, there's the group unmoderated, and there's the group with the moderator. I have to say I'm pretty, pretty impressed. Let's put them onto the caliper, the Ballistic X, and actually see what the grouping says. But already looking from that I would say that it's... Uh, a little bit more accurate with the Ronin than without the Ronin. So, yeah, let's hop on to the office. So now we came back from the range and we got some pretty exciting results out of it. So we did the control group, five shot group on this side. And we're gonna put the uh, moderated result on this side later on. And we had a five shot group of 0.635 inches, which equates to around 1.212 MOA. And the five shots average decibel reading was 82.44 decibels, with the highest peak of 82.7. So still rather okay. Five shot group. And then we put on the Donny FL Ronin moderator and we have the five shot group here and we had an 0.443 inch five shot group that equates to around 0.847 MOA. So pretty darn good. And the five shots decibel reading average were 79.12 with the highest peak of 79.3 decibels. So as on the previous test video, uh, we had around three decibels of sound reduction. And uh, the only big difference between the previous test video and this updated one is that we were shooting this with the FX Impact M3 which is in 30 cal so it really does play a big role having the correct size of caliper on the moderator so if you're gonna one up only do one size higher and that's the maximum because otherwise you'll start to lose accuracy and all sorts of weird stuff can happen so yeah but as always i hope that you've gotten some good and valuable information out of this video if you do have gotten some good info please consider subscribing ringing the notification bell and leaving a comment it really does help out on my channel and i really do appreciate the time that you spend watching the video and as always, I hope everybody's doing well and staying safe. And I'll uh, see you in the next video.